most people will uh, identify this as being uh, this text being about 7,000 years old. And it says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and God said it was good. That's a good start, isn't it? Uh, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and he said it was good. So by the very definition of when everything started, life itself, it was good. You know, five more times in the book of Genesis, uh, when God created everything from the earth to the oceans, the planets, the stars, all the living creatures, man, woman, after everything he created, he finished with, and God said it was good. And then at the very end of the first chapter of Genesis, it says, then God looked over all he had made and said it was very good. Well, I'm a, an amateur theologian, but I, I like to think that when something and someone as significant as many people throughout recorded human history have come to accept as a God says, this is good, 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 and all together, it's very good. Then me saying it's a good life is a basic statement of affirmation of something that I believe to be true. I believe life is meant to be good, designed to be good, created to be good. So what do I want to talk about today? Well, the first thing I want to talk about is why life doesn't always feel so good. So if it's meant to be good, why doesn't it feel so good? And again, I know I, I, there's a lot of deep waters I can get into here because a lot of people have experienced very difficult things and tragedies in their life. And if God is good and life is good, then why does it feel so terrible and crappy at times? Then I'm going to talk about my own principles in how I approach my life. And that is, it is a good life. It is. And uh, to me, that's like saying the sun is in the sky in the day and the moon is in the sky at night. And then I have a question for you uh, to try to help you put more of the good back in your own good life. So let's talk about it.